Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning again. So, today I will show you how to compute a basic operation of a digital circuit by using Quartus. So, first, what you need to do is you need to open the Quartus software. Okay, after that, we need to create a new project, new project wizard. So, in order for you to uh, know the reference of uh, the tutorial that I am doing, please uh, download the tutorials that I've been uploaded inside the e-learning platform. Okay, so you need to create the new project. And after that, this is the working directory. So, you choose your own directory. So, for this example, I choose desktop. And I make a new folder called Quartus. Okay, and then select the folder, and then name of the project. So I, based on the tutorial, we are using what we call the voting, voting example. And then choose next, and then we just choose next, and then for the device family, you choose Max Two. Okay, you need to choose Max Two. And then next, click next, and click finish. Okay, so right now you already finished what we call uh, creating your project of the quarters. Okay, so inside the quarters, you have the first one is this is a project navigator where all of your files uh, for your project is displayed here, and then you have the task. And then you have messages, so you, if you have some errors or some uh, warning, it will shown here. And this is your workspace. This is where you will design your digital circuit. So the next part is we need to make a schematic diagram. So to make a schematic diagram, you need to go to the file, new, and for this, you will choose the block diagram schematic file so you choose the block diagram and schematic file option and then you click ok and then this is the schematic circuit that you will draw onto okay so this is all of the option that you have so this one you have like a symbol tool and this one you have orthogonal node tool so it, it, it is acting like a wire so that you can connect your what do we call uh, your logic gates that you will draw Okay, so uh, you click at this, the symbol tool, and then you can search what is the, you know, the, the gate that you wanted to draw. So by referring to the tutorial, we are, what do we call, computing the same circuit uh, based on the tutorial that you have on the PDF file. Okay, so the first gate that we need to Compute is N2. Okay. So the notation is N, it is the N gate. 2, it is the number of input of, of the N gate. So if you put 3, the input will be 3. N4, the input will be 4. 4 N gate. Okay. So based on the tutorials, we have N input 2 gate. 1. 2 and 3 okay we call press escape in order for you to um, exit from the symbol tool and then what do we have next is we have the OR gate so we click at the symbol tool so for OR gate you can just simply OR and then the number of input that you want your gate to be have so all three. I'll get with the input number of three. Okay, press escape. Okay. Okay. So the first the the next thing that you need to do is you need to connect each and every output of N gate into the all gate. So you can just simply go to the
directly goes to the from end gate you can go to the all gate then just uh, position it okay connect directly and lastly directly connect to the from end gate to the all gate so right now you already connect your end and also all gate okay so now we want uh, our system to have an input so we press at the symbol tool and we type input so we have an input here press ok and we have the first we have three input in this example okay press escape zoom out okay we remove it further okay so right now what we need to do is we need to rename the input name okay so we move it again okay so we can rename by double click at the input symbols so the pin name okay you can uh, give your input any name okay and then the output value is vcc so if you want to give uh, the input one to the uh, logic gate you give vcc and if you want to give a general input of zero you give gnd to the input so the default value is the either vcc or ground vcc is equals to one ground is equals to zero so for this example we give vcc to a and then the pin the second pin we double click and then we name it to b and we also choose vcc okay for input the next input double click rename c and also the default value is vcc because we want the default value to be one okay after that, we connect each and every input to the input of the logic gate based on the circuit shown in the tutorial, which is the PDF file that I've been uploaded in eLearning. Okay. Okay, and then let me complete the connection first. And then this one is connected to here and this one is connected to input C okay, we move it further and input C is connected to here okay so all of the input and the gate has been connected so right now we need to connect to the output so you can just simply click at the symbol tool to type output Okay, so you have your output press ok and then escape you just simply connect it directly okay so what we need to do next is we need to save the file file save as voting so we save as voting and then what you need to do after this is you need to compile the circuit that you have done so in order to compile you will click at processing and start compilation so right now your quarter software will compile the, the circuit that you have been drawn okay so it means that your compilation is successful so you don't have any problem with your circuit and then you click ok and then you double click again at the voting which is the schematic circuit here and you can see your circuit and then uh, oh, I forgot to give the name to the output so you can double click at the output and you give V the name of V which is voting and then if you have modified 
or you do any modification on your circuit, please don't forget to save and also to compile again. So that you will know either your circuit has any errors or not. Okay, so it was successful, the compilation was successful and click OK. Okay, and then we double click again at the voting and it shows our circuit. Okay, so this is our circuit which is similar to the tutorial. And then what we need to do is we need to do the simulation where the timing diagram can be generated by using Quarter software. Okay. To do that, we need to click File, New, and then for this one, we are selecting University Program BWF. We click at the University Program BWF, and we click OK. And then, your simulation waveform editor will be displayed. Okay, after that, we go to the View in window just uh, in order to ensure that this windows uh, this about the waveform is fit into the windows and then you must click at the edit and insert so insert node or bus choose insert node or bus okay and then you click at node finder so name, so the star shows that uh, any names is possible and look in all files, pin, you choose all, okay, and you press, you click at the list. So you see here, you can see all of the input and output that has been assigned in your circuit earlier. So you just click the double uh, arrow to copy all. And then you click OK. And then you click OK again. And the input, so A, B, and C is the input. So the input is displayed inside the simulation waveform editor. So this is the timing diagram. So for us to edit the timing diagram, we need to what do we call modify the, the clock, which is the, the period of the uh, signals. So if you don't know what is the period, you can revise back to your chapter 1 when where I explain what is the period and what is the frequency and so on. So you can refer to the lecture notes. Okay, so for A, we click at A and then after that we click at the our right clock, our right clock label and then period, we change the period into for A, we change the period into 1000 nanosecond. 1000 nanosecond. We click OK. And for B, we need to change into 500 nanosecond. So B, we change into 500 nanosecond. This is micro. So we change the nano. Okay. So the offset is 0. And the detector is still 50. Okay. So you see here the changes between the input. And the last one is C. You click at the input C. And you click at the override clock. And you change period C into 250 nanosecond. So 250 nanosecond offset 0, data cycle 50. And then you click OK. And after that, you need to go to the file, you need to save this simulation waveform editor in order for you to be able to open this editor when you are exiting the what we call uh, the software. So you save the uh, waveform editor as voting. Okay, you save it. And then what you need to do is you need to run functional simulation. So you find the this is the, the block for the run functional simulation. You click at this block and it will try to run your 
circuit that you have been completed based on the input that you have been given and they will compute the output okay It takes some time. Okay, so if the compilation is successful, you will be able to get the output of the circuit that you have been designed in the in this tutorial. You have your input A, your input B, your input C, and this is your output, the expected output. Okay, so for example, if you give A equals to 0, B is equals to 0, C is equals to 0, and output will become 0, and so on. If A equals to 1, B is equals to 0, C is equals to 1, the output will become 1. So from this, I mean diagram, so you can simulate your uh, design, uh, what we call a digital circuit, so that you will be able to verify whether your circuit is, is uh, correct or not. And then this software is very important for you so that you will be able to know how to operate the digital circuits and uh, how to operate logic gates and all digital circuits inside your uh, application later on when you are uh, doing your project in your final year. Okay, that's all for the tutorial. Thank you.